Hey, what's up guys? Dawson Weedrick with Nerdy in Many Ways. And last time I took you through my Minecraft world on my iPad, and I told you I'd be doing something a little bit different this time, that I was going to be doing a review of a musician. And I'll be doing a couple of these depending on, I guess, how I feel and what videos I want to make. So, there we go. Anyway, so the band, I guess the artist I want to talk mostly about today is Aaron Lewis. Now, if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, maybe his band name will. Stained. Now, Stained was an alternative rock band that started off in 1995. And personally, I grew up listening to Stained all the time. My parents had multiple of their albums and forms of CD and played them in the car constantly. And so, Stained songs will forever be burned in my brain. And I just kind of want to talk about the timeline of the band and talk about the timeline of Aaron Lewis and what he's doing nowadays. And so, again, like I said, Stained formed in 1995. And were just basically a cover band for a while. They did a lot of hard rock covers. They were very much an introspective style of heavy metal. And the first album was Dysfunction, which came out in 1999 and 2000. And then that one had a couple of good songs, but not, none of their hits. The hits really came with their next album, Break the Cycle, which had songs like It's Been a While, Fade, Outside, Epiphany, all these songs that I absolutely love were on this album. I listen to these songs on repeat all the time. And that was in 2001, 2002. So it took them about six years to really get on the market or get on the, the map for music. And the next one, 14 Shades of Grey, which can be taken kind of interesting now because of a certain book series that we will not mention. But that album came out in 2003, 2004, and that featured the hit song So Far Away, another one that I just absolutely love. And then the next album that came out, which came out in 2005, and then around 2007 was kind of his hit time, was Chapter 5. This one featured another couple of great songs, like Right Here and Everything Changes. I Again, these are songs I listen to on repeat all the time, just because Aaron Lewis does a good, such a good job at writing such introspective, emotional songs, but allowed to have some power to it. The next one that they had was in 2008 and through 2009. It was The Illusion of Progress, and this also had another great one called Believe. This one's not as much of a favorite of mine, but I still really enjoy this song. And around this... The next time period, around 2010, 2012, Aaron Lewis started to lean more towards country because growing up, he was very much a country boy. He grew up hunting, you know, white-tailed deer. You probably have heard that in one of his songs. His grandfather introduced him to music, and the first music that Aaron Lewis really listened to was classic country, like Willie Nelson, George Jones, all these great legends. And so again, that's his first exposure to music overall. And of course, when he was younger, he decided to rebel against that a little bit, and hence, Stain was created. And since then, um, the relationship between Aaron Lewis and Stained hasn't been bad. I mean, you see a lot of different rock bands, how they break up. It's always because of dispute between some band members. They break off, want to do their own thing, want to have the spotlight. It wasn't really the case with Stained. I mean, I guess an argument could be made about Aaron Lewis wanting to be his own thing. But Aaron Lewis really just kind of wanted to go back to his roots as far as music is concerned. More of a country or more of a pure country kind of style. And so in 2012, 2014, as the hiatus of Stain was continuing, uh, Aaron Lewis released his first country album, Town Line, which featured his biggest hit, probably, Country Boy. And so here's a little clip of an interview with Aaron Lewis about writing Country Boy. And, uh, you know, Country Boy, Country Boy, I wrote that song on a bet with my plumber. Um, he actually, he bet me that I, that I wouldn't write a country song, so I wrote Country Boy. And, uh, and actually, I just got the plaque for it as a single Country Boy just went platinum. And, uh, so that was my, my first attempt at a country song. And to be honest, I find that hilarious that he wrote a song that went platinum for country on a bet with his plumber. <laughs> just the way he said it was just awesome. I just love him. I love the guy. And the next one he came out with was in 2012. It was The Road. And the main hit of this album was Granddaddy's Gun. Again, all these songs that Aaron Lewis, Lewis writes, even though he changed genre to country, a more of a, a classical country, I still really love his songs. The lyrics still hit home. They're still very close to the heart and very emotional. And then the next one, one of his most recent ones, 2016, he released Sinner which has some of my favorite songs of all time, being the song that the album's named after, Sinner. Next one, which this is probably my favorite song right now, is Mama. Mama is incredibly good, incredibly emotional, and it just fits Aaron Lewis so well. 
And then the next one that he had was Lost and Lonely, another very much favorite of mine. And then just recently, 2019, Aaron Lewis released the album The State I'm In. And State I'm In is another song that's in that album, which is also just fantastic, along with an interesting, different kind of music that he's done with the song called The Bottom. It's very much a different kind of country. And so I also just kind of want to talk about the transition that Aaron Lewis had. I mean, I talked about how he kind of went back to his roots and him going back to what he knew best, which was country. He didn't want to play the, the game of country in Nashville, I guess he could say. He wanted to go off and bring back what made the genre great in the first place. Again, I mentioned this, the artists he listened to before, Willie Nelson and George Jones, all those guys. George Jones actually was featured in the song Country Boy in one of the versions. And Aaron Lewis talked about how there's a lot of people that are, quote, choking the life out of country music. And he had this to say about it. As well, the fact that radio hasn't really come around to playing my songs yet, and there's, there's a little bit of a backlash there. It's just one of those weird things. It's such a... It's such a, a good old boys network in Nashville. It's so political in Nashville. And, you know, I'm not one to necessarily play along. You know, I, I tend to stick to my guns. And and sometimes that's not what they want you to do. Nashville is a, it is a machine. You know, it, it has... It has the writers that write all the songs and then it has the performers that go into the studio and record them and then go out on tour and play them and I don't want anything to do with with somebody writing songs for me so that's that's kind of hindered things a little bit but here I am almost five years later after switching gears and going to country and I'm I'm playing sold out shows every night and selling hard tickets and not having to give my tickets away through a radio station like so many of those artists have to do. So I, I'm, I'm okay with how things are going. I have no complaints. And uh, maybe they'll come around and maybe they won't. I think I've, I've proven already that I really don't want any part of that pop slash bro country that that seems to be so prevalent on the country radio stations these days. I, I don't really find very much country about it. These days, it almost seems like the genre is full of artists that should be pop artists, but, you know, are a little tiny bit too country for pop. You know, the artists that you just mentioned Waylon Jennings and Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard and George Jones and Hank Jr. That's that's country to me. What's funny about that interview is that he basically says the exact same thing in another one of his hit songs called That Ain't Country. He literally talks about all things that are happening in modern country and how it just doesn't fit with what he sees as country. And so you just have to listen to it. It's the, probably one of the funniest country songs out there, totally bashing its own genre. And that is why I like to call Aaron Lewis the revolutionist of country music today. Definitely, like I mentioned before, trying to bring it back to that classical old style of country that we all know and love. And so that's the end of my review for Stained and specifically for Aaron Lewis. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing plenty more videos like this where I either cover movies, superhero movies, comic books, music, sports, art projects that I do, whatever the case may be. And so again, if, if you had any questions about this video or some of the history of Stain that you'd like to know more about or about Aaron Lewis, just leave some comments down below and I'll be sure to try to answer back as, as best as I can to the best of my knowledge. And so thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys next time.